Hi guys, hi we kid 10 here, so welcome to Q&A hashtag 11. So we have probably around 10 questions today, um, so the first one is, are you really ginger? No, it's not ginger, you can see it's blonde. Look, clearly blonde. Hope that answers your question. Matthew Mangan, aka my manager, asks, what's your Instagram? I don't have an Instagram account. Um, but I, I don't know, I, I don't really think I need one, it's not really that much of a necessary thing because it doesn't really do anything for me to be honest. I just like YouTube and Twitter, that's all I use really. Scott asks, do some football vlogs. I don't want to do football vlogs. If I was interested in football I would have already done some football. So why would I want to do them? I mean, I might do a football video maybe sometime in the future but I'm no really big fan of football so probably not going to see much to do with football on this channel so if this isn't the channel for you then I suggest you go find another channel do you think the new Ghostbusters is going to be good? well I've seen the trailer for it and it has got a lot of hate I've seen the hate spiralling up for it it's just I don't think it's that good of a trailer to be honest it just doesn't really give you the whole idea on what the film is about it sort of does and sort of doesn't I think the CGI for the ghosts in the trailer, the blue ghosts, that's totally overdone because the ghosts are just really blue and that's just strange. It sort of makes them seem too fake and it just, to be honest, it loses its scariness. I, I think scariness is a word. Yeah, I think it is. Personally, if I had to rate it out of 10 stars, I would give it 0.7. In reality, I'll give it one star out of ten. I don't even want to go and watch it in cinemas because it just really doesn't sound good. And it's not because all the Ghostbusters are women. I'm not being sexist, but it's just... I don't know, it's really not a good trailer. It doesn't look like a good film. Last Gamer 179 who is my good friend, who I've known for quite a long time now, he asks, What is your favourite car brand? Hmm, it's hard to decide, really. I would say either a Ford or a Volkswagen um, because they're, they're generally reliable cars and they, they don't really go wrong to be honest um, I know I've seen Knight Rider and um, Christine and other car films so basically movie TV things um, but just because of that that doesn't mean they're my favourite car brand um, but um, Plymouths are alright I guess they're not my favourite um, Pontiacs they're, they're all right, but I don't really study them much. But if I wanted to get a car in the future, I know, I know I'm too young at the moment, obviously. For the future, I would probably want a Toyota GT86. Go check that car out. Pretty cool. The next question he asks is, what is your favourite movie or TV show? My favourite TV show is either Ashes to Ashes, Life on Mars or Knight Rider. I think all those series are my favourite to be honest um, but if I had to pick a proper favourite it's hard to decide it will probably have to be Ashes to Ashes because it's just great it's got the characters in it's got all the funny lines and stuff Knight Rider is Knight Rider is definitely near as good but uh, I just really like the other series um, even though Life on Mars is the series that um, is before Ashes to Ashes. I still really like um, Life on Mars, but Ashes to Ashes is better. The last question he asks is, what is your most edited video on your channel? The most edited video on my channel would probably be the Batman skit I did um, with my friend who was playing Batman. I haven't seen him for a while, actually. Um, but yeah, he, he does look a lot like me. You probably have noticed he does look a lot like me. Um, but that that took a lot of editing to be honest because my battery did go knackered the first time um, and then I put another battery in and that wouldn't work so I had to obviously put another cut in the video and just generally it was it, it was a hard thing to edit but I think it was worth it for the amount of um, views and stuff it got and the amount of attention it was a very popular video to be honest I was surprised at the popularity of the video I've never really said that word before <laughs> Another question is, why don't you start playing COD, which I guess stands for Call of Duty. COD, um, I don't actually have an Xbox, um, and COD, it's just not really 
it doesn't sound that much of a fun game it just sounds like a load of people just shooting each other i don't really see the point of that i just prefer car games or you know creative games where you get to build things such as minecraft obviously you probably knew i was referencing to that there but to be honest i wouldn't want to play cod i just don't think it's that much of a good game to be honest because i don't know i just don't want to play it and i probably will never play it there is your answer the last question is where do you get your clothes from what kind of a question is that does it really matter where i get my clothes from fine um either somewhere to do with um george which is obviously asda it's sort of a company that makes clothes and that Mountain Warehouse, I got my school bag from there. It's a very good school bag. It has lasted me for probably a year now. So it's very good. I'll be quite sad when it dies, but um, hopefully if I carry on taking care of it, it'll be fine. That is the last question. Um, hopefully you guys all got your answers there. Um, I would like to give a shout out to FastGamer1379. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, please like it if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!